Okay, so how does Lucifer's absence affect Dan? Is he going to be there for Chloe here? You know what? I think Dan is always going to be there for Chloe, with or without Lucifer, whether or not he likes it <laughs> or dislikes it, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's, he's always going to be there for her. You know? How excited are you to be moving to back to LA for season three? Uh, I couldn't be happier. You know, but don't get me wrong. I loved, I loved living in Vancouver. Um, I was one of the fortunate ones who was able to take my family out there and, you know, just sort of create a whole new life out in Vancouver. And we did it well, but you know, I'm one of those people who, out of sight, out of mind, can I can do that. But then, you know, I just came back a couple of weeks ago and immediately was slapped in the face with the reality of like. I want to come home. <laughs> so when they told us that we we're coming back, I was on cloud nine. Dan's kind of been brought into the fold a little bit more over the last few episodes. How does that, when the show comes back, how does he kind of fit in? Does he feel like he's more in the know of what's going on? Or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that he feels like he's more in the know, um, because I, you're going to see him um, still struggle with why Lucifer is the way he is, who he is, why he's always around, like that kind of thing. Um, but he, he stands up for himself a little bit more. You know, so you're going to see some really great banter between the two. That um, Instead of, you know, somebody made a comment earlier that they thought Dan was sort of a, uh, like a doormat in the beginning. There's not a whole lot of that happening anymore. He's, he, you know, he's going to step up a little bit more. So. Will he still be called Detective Douche? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to be forever. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. It's going to be starring Detective Douche. <laughs> do you have fans who come up to you and call you a douche? Absolutely. Oh, and you know, so and at well. first, and I knew it too, like from day one when, they, when I read the pilot and we're uh, in the table read. And the first time that Tom said it out loud to me, I was like, it just rung. And I was like, that is what everyone's going to call me. I know it from this moment on. And then, sure enough, they don't even know who I am. They just know that I'm Detective Douche. <laughs> yeah. How much does he have? socks today? Excuse me? Your socks today. Oh, what are my socks today? Oh, uh, uh, they're kind of boring. Oh. But they're... <laughs> so I have this thing, in case you guys don't know, on my social media where I, I love socks. And I have all kinds of socks. And uh, the wardrobe department has been really awesome with going out and making it part of their job to go out and find the most interesting pair of socks they can find. And I, and I post a picture of them daily, you know. Until, you know, eventually you run out of, <laughs> you run out of cool socks. But favorite I do, I have a pair? huge thing. What's that? Favorite pair? My favorite pair. Yeah, I think my favorite pair of socks, what would they be? <laughs> well, I call them my airport socks. Um, and they're my own personal socks. Uh, they're green, and you know how they make you take your shoes off, but they have uh, little hands that you can take them. <laughs> <laughs> so those are my favorite pair of socks. <laughs> How much has Detective Douche, uh, how much of a role does he play in the lead up to the finale? Um, oh, he's definitely, um, they're, they're planning things, okay? They're, they're, they're planting things for season three. So, um, so it's a big, it's a big whirlwind of, of, of story arcs that are happening throughout. And we're all peppered throughout different episodes. And some of them <coughs> stand alone and some of them don't. They're all just sort of threaded through. Um, He's definitely uh, an intricate part of the threading of what they're of what they're trying to set up for season two. So. What would be your dream arc for your character? You know what? I want to return into like the ultimate super villain. <laughs> like that would be dope. <laughs> you know? Well, your character was doing shady things for a while. It could have. It could have gone that way. Yeah, it, it very well could have, and, and it still can. You never know because he he does he does shady things, but he does it, you know, with the uh, with a good intention. It's like, you know, to take the blame off of Chloe, to you know, to have to avenge, you know, whoever wronged her. Like you know, he does it for those reasons. So it comes from here, but always ends up, you know, not the. Not the cleanest thing to do. <laughs> Will Dan have any interactions with God? Uh, that's a great question. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like yeah. then working with Tim? 
Oh my god, so amazing! Like, he walks right in, like he like he was there from day one, you know. And it, he, yeah, any 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 scene, any actor who's in a scene with him, you just can't keep a straight face because he's so good and so funny. You know, he's awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there there's some interaction. Um, Rachel said, I think there's some interaction between Dan and Linda. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? Because like, yeah. that's not something we see very, like, yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah, this season you're going to see, like I said, they're peppering things in, right? Um, so you get to see, um, like, Dan and Aminadale have, have, have a moment or two. You, um, definitely, like, the other night, we, uh, me, Lauren, and uh, um, Rachel shot a really great, funny scene. Some things uh, the other night, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's fun. You mentioned it's peppering things for season three. What have you been told about season three? Not a lot, not a whole lot, uh, honestly. Um, other than you know, because we're always trying to figure out, hey, where's my character? At? Uh, other than they love to see him suffer, <laughs> the writers and the creators love to see Detective Do suffer, so they're like, it's definitely going to be part of it. Season three, so we're gonna suffer some more. I'm like, okay, so something. Any good Trixie moments with Dan coming up? Um, you know, Trixie's in such high demand as an actress, so it's hard. To, it's hard to. Uh, it's hard to get her. It's hard to get her. Um, I'm not sure that there's much more coming this season, but we're we're hoping that you know there'll be a lot more. For season three. How's it been to work with Trixie Halper? Because you know oh. Dan and you know. Well, that's first of insane. all, she's terrible to look at. Um, no, she's amazing. It's so opposite of what her character is on the show. Um, and, like, you know, I mean, she's, she's done this for a while, and, and you can tell. She, she is not the person who has any ego. She will stand in for herself and do her thing, you know. Um, and it, just one of those people that you always want to work with. And I loved it. And I loved kissing her. <laughs>